Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. This is episode 44, Earth at Last. If you recall from our last episodes, the main character has been stuck somewhere far away and long ago for a long time now. In this episode, they finally return home. But will it be what they expect? Probably not. Now, just close your eyes, get comfy in your bed, and imagine yourself doing what the kid in the story does. Alert! 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 You wake up to the sound of spaceships saying, Alert! 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 Uh, what is it? You say to spaceship, We are approaching our solar system, says spaceship. We are? You quickly run out to see what's going on. As soon as you end up in the main room, you can see a view of the world. It's all blue and white with hints of green. You jump in the command chair and fly towards the earth as fast as you can. As you get closer, the earth gets bigger and bigger until it eventually takes up the entire view screen. You begin to lower the ship down through the atmosphere when you hear spaceship saying something. Something is wrong, says spaceship. I am detecting multiple drones in the atmosphere. Drones in the atmosphere? How many drones? Five hundred thousand drones. Each one seems to be releasing carbon dioxide into the air. <sighs> this must be the doing of Rex. That evil dinosaur scientist is always trying to make global warming happen faster. Spaceship, we need to stop him. I agree, says Spaceship. How do you plan to do that? Um, I don't know. Can we print a bunch of drones of our own again and have them attack those drones? Yes. Estimated time until we produce 500,000 drones. Six days. Six days? I mean, that's actually pretty good for that number of drones, but still, that's too long. At the rate they're putting out CO2, the Earth will be warmed far too quick by my calculations. How did you make those calculations? Asks Spaceship. I didn't. I just kind of made it up and figured that's what would, would be happening. Oh. Well, would you like me to calculate it for you? No, no, it's okay. I think we just better stop them as soon as we can. Understood, says Spaceship. Well, I... Is there any way we can figure out where they're being controlled from, you ask? That is an excellent idea. Tracing their signal now. Spaceship begins to make a bunch of boops and beeps and bops. Location detected. It seems that the drones are being controlled from somewhere inside the moon. Inside the moon? Let's go check it out. You quickly pull back on the steering wheel and fly back up out of the Earth's atmosphere. You head straight towards the moon. It doesn't take long to get there. And the moon begins to appear in the view screen, getting larger and larger. How do we get to the center of the moon? I believe I should be able to find an opening. Right, right. Can we just drill there, though? You ask. Yes transforming into drill mode. The spaceship begins to glow around you, and the tip of the ship 
transforms into a huge drill. You aim the ship down towards the moon, and as you make impact, you press a button turning the drill on. The drill begins to spin very quickly, and before long, you're drilling a huge hole in the moon. You tunnel down further and further and further until you break through into a giant opening. The ship drops down onto the ground. You press a button to turn on some lights, and soon you see the opening of a gigantic cavern, a huge cave. And all around the cave are sets of computers and stacks of technology and lights. What is going on here? This is a huge operation. What are you doing here? You hear a voice say. Rex, I knew it was you. I tried to get rid of you. I sent you far away and long ago, but here you are, messing with my plans once again. And I can't tell you how angry that makes me. So angry that I'm going to press this button right beside me, and, well, you're not going to like what happens when I press this button. It's something very, very bad. Is it just that a couple T-Rexes come out and try to fight us, you ask? How did you know that, says Rex. Uh, anyways, these aren't normal T-Rexes. These are mutant T-Rexes. So, you don't know everything, do you, says Rex. Rex presses the button, and up out of the floor appear two huge cages, each one with a large T-Rex inside. But these T-Rexes don't look normal. They have weird glowing veins pumping throughout their body. They glow a strange green color, and their eyes look mad. The cages open and the T-Rexes step out. They immediately walk towards the ship. Ship, I think you know what to do by now. Yes, says Spaceship. And Spaceship begins to transform into a toaster. Uh, Spaceship, what made you think I wanted you to transform into a toaster? Oh, I just believed that that was the right thing to do. What would you like me to transform into? A T-Rex, obviously. One that's slightly bigger and badder than these ones. Understood. Spaceship begins to glow again and transforms from a toaster into a huge mechanical Tyrannosaurus Rex. Once again, a control helmet drops down from the ceiling. You know that when you put on the helmet, you'll be in control of the T-Rex. You put it on and close your eyes. A strange sensation passes through your body, and it starts to feel like you have a huge tail, but little useless arms. You open your eyes and you're seeing through the eyes of Tyrannosaurus Rex. You feel very powerful. You have powerful jaws and powerful legs and a powerful tail and tiny weak little arm, which are obviously of no use to you in this scenario at all. Changer, I think we're gonna need you too says Changer. Changer jumps out a hatch from inside the Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
and immediately starts transforming into a huge triceratops. Changer starts brushing the ground with one of its feet, ready to charge. The two evil mutant tyrannosauruses roar and begin to run towards you. Changer ducks his head down and charges right for one of them, but it jumps to the side and whips him with his tail, throwing Changer against the side of the cavern. The other Tyrannosaurus jumps up in the air right above you and lands on top of you with both feet, pushing you towards the ground. It starts biting you, but soon realizes that biting a giant metal dinosaur really does nothing at all. You begin to feel a power inside your chest, and you allow the power out. A huge laser shoots out of the chest of the mechanical Tyrannosaurus and blasts the mutant Tyrannosaurus up into the air smashing it against the ceiling before it falls down to the ground. But to your surprise, it just gets right back up again, shakes off a little bit of rubble, and looks even angrier. It charges back towards you. This time you jump out of the way and whip it with your tail. But the Tyrannosaurus seems unfazed, it turns, stares you down, and then opens its mouth and sprays you with a huge plume of green liquid of some kind. As soon as the liquid hits the outside of the mechanical Tyrannosaurus, it starts to burn through the metal on the outside. Uh-oh, we need some water, spaceship. Understood. Little water guns pop out of the Tyrannosaurus and start spraying the green liquid off. But you notice that there's some areas where the metal's been completely eaten away and obviously made you weaker. Do we have one of those control collars, you ask? Yes, we have several. Well, get one ready. Understood, says Spaceship. Out of the chest of the mechanical Tyrannosaurus pops what looks like a cannon. You aim the cannon at the other Tyrannosaurus and fire. A control collar shoots out and quickly snaps around the neck of the other Tyrannosaurus. But instead of calming down like they normally do, nothing happens. The Tyrannosaurus starts running at you once again it jumps up in the air, about to smash you, when Changer intervenes. Changer jumps in the air, hitting the Tyrannosaurus with all three of its horns at once, taking it down to the ground. As the two of them fly through the air, Changer transforms into some sort of octopus-looking creature. It wraps up the Tyrannosaurus with one of its tentacles and holds it up in the air. When the other Tyrannosaurus runs back for him, he snatches it out of the air as well and holds on tight with another tentacle. Changer squeezes and squeezes, and before long both of the Tyrannosauruses fall asleep. Changer places them off to the side, transforms back into a little puppy dog, and runs up to you. Spaceship, transform back into a ship, you say. Understood. The metal Tyrannosaurus begins to glow a yellow color, and slowly transforms back into a spaceship. You take off the control helmet and press a button unlatching the back door. You run outside, 
Where did Rex go, you ask? Changer looks at you puzzled, turns his head to the side and gives you an expression that means, I don't know. Rex is nowhere to be found. He's gotten away again, you say. <sighs> well, no time for that. We have to get to the control panel. You and Changer run back onto spaceship and get in the control seats. You carefully fly the ship over to the side of the cavern near one of the computer terminals. Spaceship, I need you to hack the computer. Hacking computer, says Spaceship. Two wires shoot out of the ship and land in the computer terminal. Another set of beeping and bopping occurs. And before long you hear Spaceship say, Terminal hacked. We now have control of all drones. Good. Now, have them suck in all the carbon dioxide they th threw out into the atmosphere. Understood. Reversing. Drones. You see a picture pop up on the view screen. All of the drones appear. And instead of shooting out a smog-like substance into the atmosphere, they begin sucking it back in. After a while, all of them are full. What would you like me to do now? Order them to fly into the sun, you say, ordering them to fly into the sun. You watch as all of the drones blast off away from Earth's atmosphere and out into space directly towards the sun. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Now I can finally go home and sleep in my own bed. You sit back in the control seat. You press a button to disengage the wires that are attached to the computer terminal, and you carefully fly a spaceship up through the hole you've made in the moon and out into space. You quickly fly back to Earth. You enter the atmosphere. You lower yourself down below the clouds and you fly close enough to the Earth's surface to see where you're going. Before long, you see your house, and you lower the ship down and land in front of it. Home at last, you say. Spaceship opens up the hatch at the back, and you and Changer run out. Spaceship shrinks down to the size of a toy and flies into your pocket. You go inside, and you look around to see if your parents are there. You notice them in the living room, but you decide to sneak by. You know you have to find the robot copy of yourself before they see two of you. You go to your room, and there you see the robot. Hey, where have you been? I've been you for a long time, says the robot copy of yourself. Yeah, well, just download your memories into me quickly, and then I think I'm going to have to turn you to goo. I love being goo, says the robot copy of yourself. Out of the robot's chest pops a little helmet. The robot places it on your head, and you close your eyes. Right away, you have a flood of memories that pass through your mind. Learning in school, hanging out with friends, creeping out your parents because you're a strange robot and doesn't really understand humans perfectly well. You open your eyes and you realize that you're filled with all of the knowledge, weeks worth of knowledge that the robots gained while you've been away. Whoa. As you stare at the robot copy of yourself, you see it begin to spark and stutter 
and then immediately transform into a pile of goo and melt onto the floor. Spaceship, do the thing, you say. Understood, says Spaceship. Spaceship shines a light on the goo and reabsorbs the copy of you. You yawn and crawl into your bed. Spaceship turns off the lights for you. Your eyes are heavy and you just let them close. You get comfy in the bed and allow yourself to begin to drift off, to sleep, dreaming of new adventures to come. <laughs>